And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Plaza Scouts. What we're going to do today with this deck is we are going to go all in on the Scouts. We're going to be playing tons and tons of Scouts, trying to attack all the time with the newest card from the new expansion, the Grand Plaza, this new landmark, which is just simply incredible. Does it have full art? It does have a full art. Wow, that's a pretty cool art. That is a that plaza does look pretty grand. Yeah, yeah, that, that plaza looks pretty grand. Uh, grand. All right, so we're going to be uh, attacking a whole bunch. You know, with, like the Grand Plaza with Grizzled Ranger we know is amazing. Also amazing with Island Navigator getting a 3-5 Challenger Scout and then also another Challenger Scout. Multiple bodies. So, like, that's the thing. Like, Quinn on its own, like, Quinn's kind of small being a 3-4 for 5 mana. But what if Quinn was a 4-5 with Challenger where you can challenge a smaller thing? That looks a lot better. And then, you know, brings along also a 3-2 Challenger body. We're going to have even Great Horn Companion in here being a 6-6 Challenger Scout. Um, and then also Green, Green Fang Warden, you know, with the barrier, automatic barrier. So you can, this can be a 3-3 Challenger with barrier. The, you can just go challenge something, you know, first with the barrier. Don't have to worry. And then uh, get to attack again. So we're going to be attacking all the time, uh, which is going to help our Misfortune level up, our Quinn level up. Uh, we'll have a couple of Relentless Pursuit that we usually want to cast Relentless Pursuit on our opponent's turn so that we can attack for twice on our opponent's turn with all of these scouts. So we're going, um, yeah, all in on the scouts. Uh, let's see. And then that's kind of our deck. You know, Hired Gun is going to be a 3-4. So two mana 3-4 is going to be a really good body for a challenger. Plus granting something vulnerable helps out the things that already um, attacked and you didn't play this turn. You can kind of give those things you know, semi-challenger there with granting something else vulnerable. I'm not really playing too many spells. You know, it says I have eight spells in here, but two of them are Relentless Pursuit. Three of them are Blinding Assault, so that's really just a unit. So really my only spell that I have is Sharp Sight. And um, so, you know, not too much combat tricks. Um, Bright Steel Protector in here, given some barrier. Um, but should be pretty good. So let's see how it goes. I That's... That's the thing that I'm kind of worried about, is that I don't have very many combat tricks because I have so many scouts and everything. Um, so we'll have to see if if that really hurts us, the non-combat tricks. Yeah, I didn't go with Cythria. I, you know, I wanted the, I wanted the, the moose instead. Um, all right, so Jagged Butcher is an obvious keep. Um, I should probably keep one sharp sight, but we need to find a plaza, find some scouts. There we go. We got a mirror match. Yeah, I think the Green Fang is underrated as well. Nothing like the stink of blood and sweat. It's hard to get rich. The scout with barrier. Very easy to attack with that thing. We're just gonna save Sharp Sight. I don't really need to use Sharp Sight on keeping this 2 2 alive. You know, it's just a 2 2. Looking for trouble? It found you. Sapphire, gem of our divine patron. Red. Yeah, I went with Pursuit over, um... The ocean whispers our secrets. I did end up going Relentless Pursuit over Repost. Alright, let's mess some folks up. Bless is Mosha. Love ya. That was a good one drop to hit, you know, with the four health. So I couldn't just have the misfortune trade and then you know, like maybe save my Grizzled Ranger. Cute bird. 
you bulletproof. Cute face. Talon proof. I've got your back. Ahead. Gotta survey the battlefield. <laughs> You'll pay. Every wave is a path, just like hunting for trees. Island Navigator is so good. I'll take an Island Navigator. Darn. Fortune favors the bold. The ocean Ouch. is no place for the weak. Who's on top of the bounty board today? Let's play another plaza. My steel is yours. Make it worth my while. Make much more sense to trade here. Love ya. So Companion's going to be a 7-7, seven, seven, or Grizzled Ranger, it's you know, like the 5-3 that has the other body as well. I think I'll go Grizzled Ranger. Because in case they're playing Relentless Pursuit, we'll do this first. Nothing gets between me and my mark. We'll find our enemies wherever they hide. Hey there, Red. Well, that's one fantasy come true. Nice part about the misfortune having the vulnerable because of the higher gun. So yeah, they saved the misfortune. Which does mean... Um, right now they don't have anything to challenge my misfortune now. So that is nice. Always forward. Oh, right, I don't have the- I already attacked once, I don't have the attack token anymore. Right. Why did, Why was I thinking I was going to be able to attack again? I, I attacked with the non-scouts. With the scout, I was thinking I was going to be able to attack again. Oh no, what, I just messed that up. Oh, so basically I shouldn't have blocked. You know, like, I, I just should not have blocked there. I, I don't know why I was thinking I was going to be able to attack again. Um... Yeah, I really messed that up with the blocking part of that. Because um, now I can't block Miss. Yeah. All right. Well. Now we plan our revenge. Just so used to to attacking and blocking twice a turn, I I messed that up. Riven Ash Sejuani. So putting Riven into Ash Sejuani. Probably just as a one of, probably two Sejuani still. That would be my best guess. All right, messed, messed up that block. Hello. Okay, thank you, Rad. Yeah, so new new prediction has now started. If y'all want to wager your channel points. 
All right, so I'm keeping my three spell mana for Relentless Pursuit. Um, not going to be casting Blinding Assault right now, even though I could have attacked twice with Blinding Assault. Joke debate. Let's get Plaza in first. On the trail. I want to save. I want to have. Want to be able to play Relentless Pursuit probably after Quinn. We protect these woods as they protect us. Herman, thank you so much for that resub for the fifth month. I appreciate that. Uh, let's see. That was an early cooling strike by them. I, I don't think that they should have played the cooling strike right there. So next turn I can go Quinn plus I will unite the Freljord. Pursuit. Hmm. I guess I just let them attack. I mean, I can't really just say pass though, can I? So they could say pass back. I guess if they pass back and don't attack, I think I'm happy with that. Won't miss. Nothing gets between me and my mark. I didn't want them to uh you know like frost you know have a free frostbite on my Quinn. I play Quinn, they attack, they frostbite the Quinn. Then could culling strike or something like that. Thank you, Herman. Alright, two calling strikes out. That's good news. Every wave is a nice, got an omen hawk. That's a good card hit. A true Fragorian welcome. Flash freeze. You don't always see that card. We are making them use a bunch of resources. Ancient things trapped in the ice. Mm. So misfortune will be a five-five. I guess I want hired gun to block. We have to block two things to stay alive. You gotta believe me. No. Wait, we can still block two. No, we can only block one thing. Can I stay alive? I take eight. Am I at nine? Perfect, I'm at nine. You've made your path. Okay, down to one. Still alive. Looking for trouble? It found you. A gift from Avarosa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that was not the card that I wanted them to frostbite. This good. This is the card that I made wanted to make sure they did not frostbite. No 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 no. Replace you. Give you. Got your back. 
I guess I could have replaced the Grand Plaza, honestly. Maybe I should have just done that. Oh no. Now I'm at one. Oh, Captain Baron. That's not good. Yeah, I didn't want to play Valor. Yeah, so that was, that was like I didn't want them to be able to frostbite the Valor, so that's why I didn't play the Valor first. But this Captain Farron thing. Just like hunting thresher geese. No one escapes my aim. No. Oh yeah, I, I didn't think they had reckoning. I I couldn't really. I didn't want to. Yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't. I wasn't expecting Reckoning for how they played this game. But obviously we knew about the Crystal Arrow. Um, from the Ash level up. Time for violence. Yeah, that doesn't really matter. I had to have Quinn attack to get some damage in on that thing, but obviously it doesn't matter with the decimates. GG's. The card that really helped my opponent that game was that flash freeze. That's not something you always see, but that was a, a perfect flash freeze to keep that Ash alive and, and then let them attack again with the Ash level up. You know, they had that plus the Brittle Steel uh, to level up the Ash, get them the Crystal Arrow, all that, like that. Um, that Flash Freeze was perfect. Alright, really insult Trundle, Trindamir. Do I keep Grand Plaza against the Ramp deck? I, I want Relentless Pursuit against the ramp deck. I want these one one mana cards against the ramp deck. I'm not sure about Grand Plaza. I guess we just keep it. I'm just not sure if we want to take a turn to, to play. I, I guess we do though. Avalanche, you know, of course, is a thing. So I have to be thinking about that. Nothing escapes my watch. Who's on top of the bounty board today? Time to get rich. Alert the villain. Spark. Well, that probably means no avalanche. Probably. I'm thinking I want to, like, next turn play Quinn Relentless Pursuit, which would mean I would need three extra mana, which would mean I'm only spending, you know, two mana here, so basically mana on Jagged Butcher. There's plenty of killing left. Oh, I should attack. I can't play Plaza and Relentless Pursuit, and I think I want to play Relentless Pursuit instead.
There we go, GG's. And that's why I want to play Relentless Pursuit the next turn. For now. All right, we got Teemo Gangplank. We got a PNZ Burn deck. Bilge Water Burn. Could keep all this stuff. Uh, we could also Mulligan. You know, I'm gonna keep Quinn. I'm gonna keep Sharp Sight. The other two cards can be Mulliganed. They're fine, but you know, nothing spectacular. So we could look for spectacular cards like Grand Plaza and Misfortune. There's, you know, there's nothing wrong with those other two cards. I'll shoot the wings off a bilge wall. Of course I'm ready. Finger on the trigger. Captain's orders. Pull it to the face. No. Time to go. I'm gonna do this right now, like while they're tapped out. Like you know, like I could, I could do that, like while challenging the next turn. But they, then they would have like their mana. Like maybe they get excited, save their thing. Get bloody, get paid. Guess I could have played the other Fleet Feather Tracker first. I kind of got a little excited with this hired gun hitting this. If I play the other Fleet Feather Tracker, then they play something larger. Then I. First one's free. Yeah, then I don't challenge that. Yeah, I'm gonna kill this 3 2. That's probably a fair trade. And obviously, they would block my tracker anyway with this thing. So, Island Navigator or Grizzled Ranger? Oh boy, Doug. Yep, I'm flying. That's elusive. Um, let's go Navigator. The ocean charts our course. Hey, we got an elusive too. Whoa. Uh, Gangplank, Teemo Gangplank are the champions. Nothing gets between me and my mark. We'll find our enemies wherever they are. Timo Gangplank. Won't find better this side of the sun. Just like hunting pressure geese. No, no Bannerman in here because I'm playing Grizzled Ranger and Island Navigator in the four mana slot, so no, no Bannerman. Alright, their safety is dis disengaged. Like a fish in water. <laughs> Maybe I should have just gone these two cards, Blinding Assault, Grizzled Ranger, because they're both scouts. I'm, of course, planning on playing Grizzled Ranger right here. Can you improve perfection? Fire till nothing moves. I know, right? That Daring Poro, is, this Daring Poro is going to be pretty clutch. Being able to block this area or not, make sure that we stay at 8 instead of... Instead of six. Yeah, maybe I should have gone blinding assault for the open attack. System upgrade. How's it hanging? Bertrand. I didn't smell uh, expect you here. Let's play the warden. It's another good attacker. Definitely wish that this was this flea feather tracker was the um valor. Can't fly if you don't try. Ready, boy. 
Wait, you're not a scout. Get out of here. You're not Valor. Okay. I was just talking about how you want Valor. Alright, we're coming back. We're two and two. We're gonna play some Overwhelm, playing against Overwhelm. We're we're about to play Overwhelm, our next uh deck, Darius Fury. Um This is a difficult mulligan. Let's stick with those two. So yeah, going going with the Green Fang Warden because of how that card's also pretty good with um, the Plaza you know, having built-in barrier. Well, this hand didn't pay out for me so far, at least. The tough Ruthless Raider is good against Misfortune. The winter's claw. Do I block sharp sight? My kind of party. You know, this is spending two mana to get rid of their th three mana three three, and also deal one damage to my misfortune. Let's do it. This is our way. So next turn I'm going to be playing like Grizzled Ranger. So I have Grizzled Ranger plus Sharp Sight, and then the turn after that, I guess I can't have like Quinn plus Bright Seal Protector. Hmm. So basically, you know, do we want to have the Sharp Sight up? Because otherwise, I could play Quinn next turn and then go Grizzled Ranger Bright Seal Protector, or. Or I guess I, I guess I could go Quinn next turn and then turn six have you know protector protector sharp sight and not play the Grizzled Ranger. Always forward. All right, so two of their top three cards are Enraged Yeti, so they should probably have Enraged Yeti this turn. There's the Enraged Yeti. To show you the sights of Bilgewater. The sights are fine. The smells, on the other hand. I think my plan is to go protector, protector, sharp sight. No. That's fine. Do they think Quinn's scarier than Misfortune or something? That's not right. Pass. 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 See the Nebastian border from here. Yeah, close enough. At least I, I now have the sharp sight to protect Misfortune from another cooling strike. Yeah, they definitely should have cooling strike the Misfortune, because Misfortune can level up this turn. Quinn couldn't. They cooling strike the wrong thing. Okay, so they have one mana, so they're not going to be playing anything else. Captain Fortune. Ready the torches. So they go down to three with this block. Okay. Go down to six.
my 2-4 is going to die. I could have saved the 2-4 with the sharp sight, but, you know, I'd rather have the room anyway to be able to play these things. 2-4 can die. Oh, right, the 3-2 dies also. Also perfectly fine. Well, I can't quite save Misfortune, unfortunately. Survivors. All right, hopefully we get to sharp sight, and kind of assuming they're going to block the green, the warden, right? Yeah, and you know, like with these two things dying, that will give me a new spot for the protector. And they're down to three. And they'll go protector on the seven two, and this should be a win. And it's just a win like that. GG. All right, so that's Plaza Scouts. Um, you know, so we lost the Scout Mirror the first game, and I made a bad attack slash block, especially block there that kind of cost me that game. But, you know, it's, it's a mirror match. It could go either way. And then we lost to Frostbite. And Frostbite is great against attacking and blocking. And they had a really good hand with the double culling strike, double 3 1 Frostbite. Um, the flash freeze, which was perfect. Like they needed, they needed that flash freeze, and you don't always see that in those lists. And so, you know, they had a, a real good hand. So, you know, hats off to them. And then we ended up winning the others. I think scouts are going to be great against like the big mana decks, like the the ramp decks, especially with having relentless pursuit, because those kind of decks, you know, like they rely on like avalanche and things like that, uh, but not really so much blockers. And they just try, you know, they try to race and get their Targon's Peak in play and, and try to get to their top end. But if you're attacking multiple times, that can, you know, really, really hurt them. Uh, we didn't get to do anything cool with Green, Green Fang Warden with Grand Plaza. I never had those two cards together. Um, but I thought that that could be kind of cool of having the Barrier Scout, um, you know, with the Grand Plaza. But just didn't get to have that together. Hired Gun was amazing. That was definitely a card that, that looked really, really good. And then, of course, our Grizzled Ranger Island Navigator. Those looked very good as well. But there we go. Plaza Scouts. Um, so I'm, I'm expecting, kind of like a lot of people are saying, you know, Grand Plaza is probably going to get nerfed. And I, I kind of expect it to get nerfed, too. This this card's really silly. It's It honestly is is too good. Um, but for those of y'all on YouTube, how would you nerf this card if you, if you would? Like, what would you do to adjust this card? What I think that I would do personally is I would just get rid of the plus one plus one. I would have it, you know, still be three mana landmark. When an ally is summoned, give it challenger this round. I think that's still a really strong card. And because, you know, you don't, whenever you like nerf cards, you don't want to kill them. You don't want to make it so they're unplayable. Um, but I think that that's still very good. I think the plus one plus one's probably unnecessary. But the Grand Plaza making everything challengers, that's pretty cool. And, you know, like that's a neat effect. So that's that's that because you know when you, when you when you compare the Grand Plaza to a card like um, On Guard, where's On Guard? So On Guard three mana. It's spell mana, so that's worse than like unit mana. But that's just give your allies that you haven't played Challenger this round. Like that's that's what that card is. And now you're telling me that if you just spend it as unit mana, it will always give every ally that you play for the rest of the game challenger for that round that you play it. Plus, it gives them plus one, plus one. It's not just a one-turn effect. That seems a lot stronger, <laughs> right? So, like, maybe this should just kind of be on, on par of just give challenger. You know, like, this doesn't say give the units plus one, plus one in challenger this round. That would be kind of silly. 
And so, yeah, I think the plus one plus one is probably unnecessary. Um, so, Potato... Okay, so Potato says... Um, the first ally you play each round gains the plus one, plus one, and then whenever you summon an ally, give it challenger this, this round. You could, yeah, so you could, you could do that. So basically the same thing, except for only the very first thing gets plus one, plus one this round. I just think that that's just kind of adds a lot of text to the card and yeah, that's probably not necessary. The other thing you could do here is make it instead of summon, make it played. Whenever an ally is played, give it plus one, plus one and challenger this round so that, um, you know, like your first Grizzle Ranger gets the plus one, plus one in Challenger, but then like the, you know, the Loyal Badger Bear doesn't get any bonus. Or, you know, like with your House Spider, the first thing would get the bonus, but then the little spider that brings along doesn't give it. Or just, you know, make it so it's not a summon. Make it so it played. So, you know, if you want to play an ally, cool. You can play an ally. It gets plus one, plus one in Challenger. And that can work really well with the things you're playing. Maybe you're playing, you know, you, you know units with quick attack, like your Lucian and Senna and all that kind of stuff. Cool, but you know, making it summoned, and so that every time that you know summoned is is much easier and much easier to abuse than just play. When whenever you play an ally, give it plus one plus one challenger. I think those are the two options that I I like. Change the summon to played, so whenever you play an ally, every ally you play, give it plus one plus one in challenger. But it's only play, not summon. You know, anything that's summoned, you get no bonus whatsoever. Or Make it so it is summon, but get rid of the plus one, plus one, and make it just challenger. Um, I, I don't really like plus one, plus zero, or plus zero, plus one. I, I think that you just either get just get rid of that bonus. Okay, Teasel, Teasel has a good one. Teasel says, whenever an ally is summoned, give it challenger this round. If that, al if that ally already had challenger, give it plus one, plus one instead. That's kind of cool. So, you know, like you're... you're allies with challenger you know like your fiora give your fiora plus one plus one or you know things that don't normally have challenger give a challenger that's kind of cool you could do that i like that too that works too that's cool so everything gets a bonus somehow i like that fixed all right but there we go plaza scouts those y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button and leave those comments let me know what you think um i would appreciate that but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video